And this week, we're doing more. I'm still mulling it over in my mind. Hello everybody, welcome back to the trailer build. Last week you watched Noah and I install windows, finish the insulation, put up all the furring strips, and install the fan. And this week, we're doing more. I don't really know what all of it entails. I know we're doing wiring, flooring, and probably external lights, but we will see. Let's just jump right into it. I am writing down all of the circuits that I want just so that I don't miss anything because I probably will. I'll probably miss something anyway. So I just want to make sure I have it down on paper. So you're putting together lights and planning and you don't need me. I probably don't because it's, it's going to take me a little while. Okay, I'm going to take Akila to the park. Hi everybody. Uh, it has been a few days since I was out here filming with Noah. I've been quite sick the last three days, um, kind of came on as a pretty intense fever and turned into some really weird like intestinal stuff. <laughs> All I'll say about this is that I'm very grateful that this happened while I'm parked in my mom's backyard and spent a lot of time in the house. Alright, so as you can see, there is some wiring. I just ran some wires from where the power station will be, the battery banks will be down here to start to distribute it. I haven't run a couple of the systems yet so I'm still mulling it over in my mind. I had so many of my wires running through my metal walls. There's just a lot of it. There's just so many different structures within a van compared to this very beautiful square simple trailer. And so I protected my wires a lot. I had them in um, like the corrugated plastic and I had rubber grommets everywhere. So I made sure that they weren't sliding around on my metal walls. And yeah, this is just from what I can tell and maybe Noah, it's not been, but it seems pretty smooth sailing for the wiring aspect so far. Yeah, it's pretty easy. There were already all, a lot of holes on this top section. So I just use zip ties, put them through there, so I had little loops to run them through. This is what we got today. Snow. Hi, little Stella. Got some snow on your ears. Well, everybody, today is flooring day. This is the beautiful flooring that Noah chose. So this is waterproof uh, laminate flooring and it's the applewood style or appearance. Do you think I should keep staggering them rather than keep the same interval? No, I think now you should do a normal length one. Well, no, that's what I mean, like, so it's staggered about in thirds. Yeah. It's approximate, but I think it'll look fine to go back in third. I love your floor. 
And today's project is putting these solar panels up on top of the trailer. One of the things that he did while I was sick was install these channel struts on top of the trailer to make this installation a little bit easier. And he's going to explain kind of all of the different components and ways of actually installing the panels um, because it's very different than what I did and I think it's super cool. But first I'm gonna show you these struts on top of the trailer. Checking in with the project manager this morning. How are you, Akila? Did you enjoy sleeping in this morning? You still look a little sleepy. The bolts needed for the channel strut are a little bit too big for the slots that are in the L brackets to attach the solar panels to the channel strut. So what we have to do is expand these just slightly so that the 3 8 bolt will go through. Nothing like a good old step bit. These are the brackets from Renogy that will let me tilt the solar panels which means I can access the wiring underneath it pretty easily and if I need to take the solar panels off I can remove it fairly easily. The channel strut has these special nuts for going inside of it. This is what they look like. There's a spring that pushes this up into the track. The nut goes into the channel strut, you twist it, the spring will hold it up against uh, the channel and that's going to make it really easy for me to place the solar panel brackets on top of it, set this bolt through the bracket, and then secure it down to the nut, and which will pinch onto the channel strut so that the solar panels will be secure. My thought was to put it in just here and secure it so that this thing kind of doesn't bounce around a whole lot. And then this can just shift wherever. Does that make sense? And the first panel is up and secured. Moving on to number two. Here is the progress so far. All right, last one. Hi! Hi, girl. I'll be down in a little bit. We have one more solar panel. Hi. <laughs> all right, we have all four panels up and secured. So right now Noah is working on these and so he angled them up. So this is like an example of what these little things are capable of and he can change at what angle they are based on where this thing is screwed into and should do like a little roof deck right here. Like Good. walking through those and then having like a little area to hang out right up here. You and Bree can watch the sunset. Yeah, because they sell channel strut in like two foot sections. Oh yeah. Um, just for those of you that will inevitably comment on this solar stuff up here, uh, no, no, will not be driving while these are <laughs> while these are up and angled. Just thought I'd include that real quick. Ready? Noah made those. 
last night. I made this. Are you connecting them in series or parallel? Connecting them in series because the voltage will go up but the amperage will stay the same and I'll be using an MPPT controller and that's what is that's what you want. <laughs> He's gonna connect them all and then we're gonna work on drilling a hole through the roof, dropping these cables through and getting prepped so that when our solar stuff comes in, I should say when Noah's solar stuff comes in, <laughs> it's ready to be installed. The solar panels are all ready to go. And I think I'm just gonna let them leave, hang loose. I'm not gonna like necessarily secure them. I'll think on it, but right now I think I'll just have them be relatively loose under here. Yeah. Put it like here. Yeah. And Seems that's good. plenty of room. This will be going up. Just want to double check the size. A little grommet on there. Wait, they just literally go through this. Yeah, and then they tighten with those. What? And then they tighten down on the, with that. You just tighten it and it squeezes. Yeah. Okay. So now Noah's just putting the cables through that thing, which I don't remember what that is called. This? We'll call it a cable house. Yep. I think they call it a gland. Okay, well that makes I could no sense. Uh, also, these are pre-labeled, not pre-labeled, I labeled them. <laughs> make sure you label them before you put them down. Yep. There's gonna be running around. No, you have to put them through there. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I, knew, I knew that. I knew that everybody. <laughs> You have to take the label off. No, it's good. Good, good. These are, these are really high quality labels. <laughs> Look, they fit nice. snugly. How satisfying is that? That's pretty darn satisfying. Another cool thing that Noah added this week were these two feet that were installed on the large back door of the trailer. He also wired up and installed three external lights and there are external lights for either side of the trailer that are still on their way. We are super excited for all the big changes happening next week. And appreciate you all watching the process. Thanks for being here and we will see you next week. Was installed these channel struts. Don't fit. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. <laughs> strut channel. Eh? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, start over. I'm starting over. <laughs> Good job. That's beautiful. And he's very good at affirming me. Hey, words of affirmation grow right here. Do you have any requests? Oh, I don't. Actually, do you want to play some battle orchestra? No. Alright. What else? Um, I don't know. Say something. <laughs> <laughs> And see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun